Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So grade 12 probability can be a bit weird. I know that I've seen it with my students. People do battle to grasp it and they typically throw it at you right towards the end of the year, just before the exams and so they usually rush through it. Trust me, it's not that bad. Let's spend a bit of time with it and hopefully you can improve your understanding of the grade 12 probability. By the way, I do have a complete course within grade 11 probability, so that is definitely something that you need to know for your, for your grade 12 final exams. So I'm going to introduce this section to you in a very simple way, and I know that it is going to help. So let's say, for example, we've got someone who is going out for dinner and they deciding what to wear. Now, they've got these different items. So for their shirts, they've got black and white, for the pants, gray and red, and for the shoes, orange and yellow. We want to determine how many different combinations could this person wear. So we're going to do it in a very basic way. We're just going to say, okay, well, they could wear a blue shirt, gray pants, and orange shoes. Or they could wear a blue shirt, gray pants, and yellow shoes. Okay, so you see what I'm doing, right? You can see how we're just literally doing all of them. Then we could say white pants, gray, I mean white shirt, gray pants, and orange shoes. So if at this point you want to pause the video and write down all the combinations yourself, absolutely fine. I always tell people that they that's the better way to do it instead of just sitting back and listening to me. Then the other one would be white, red, and orange. And if you had to go do all of them, this is how many you would find, okay? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. But we can see that this is quite a long technique, and we could have had more options, and then it would have taken us even longer. But what mathematicians realized was that if we simply do the following, so in this first category, there are two, then we have two over here, and then we have two over here, and if we simply multiply, we'll check what happens. We get two times two, which is four, and four times two, which is eight. And this is the fundamental principle that is gonna take place in grade 12 probability. We are gonna multiply. Okay, I know some of you might have seen something like this in class already. Teachers make it seem like we're always gonna use that factorial thing. We hardly ever use that. Most of the time, we're just going to be multiplying. Here's another example. So this is, this could be a person who is at a restaurant and they have these different options. So for the starters, they could have soup or bread. The, for the main, they could have chicken, fish, or a vegetarian option. And then for dessert, they could have ice cream or mulva pudding. Now, once again, we're gonna see how many different options there are. Okay, so we could do it the long way, like soup, chicken, ice cream, or soup, fish, ice cream. You know how we did in the previous one. Or we can realize that we just need to multiply. So there's two options there, three options there, two options there. We put multiply or multiplication signs in between. So two times three is six, six times two is 12. And that is the answer. So you can try this at home if you want. You can try out all these different combinations. And I promise you, you will get to the number 12. So I hope that makes sense. That's the main idea I wanted to get across in this video is we're going to use a lot of multiplying.